Hello there, and welcome to a new episode of our Cold Waters campaign, where we play as the Soviet Union in 1969. Now, this convoy up here, I believe that is our target. It is traveling from Newport to Trondheim, and it consists of transports and troop transports as well, apparently. Our task is to sink them. Uh, we can settle that. Wow, there's a lot of traffic. There is really a lot of traffic. Now it looks like the convoy will go through the Danish Strait. And the enemy has quite a lot of forces in the area. I have to be very careful here. Let's try to get in front of the enemy convoy. Where is it? Damn it! I think I've been intercepted by a submarine. And I'm going at the speed of 10 knots. Alright, let's see how this plays out. Ah, uh, there's rain, a fresh breeze, 1200 hours in the middle of the day, and we have a new sonar contact bearing 204. We're at a depth of 46 meters, going at a speed of 10 knots. There's a weak surface duct and a weak thermal layer. All hands, man battle stations. Damn it. Contacts nearby. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I have contacts. Let's go this way. Let's, um, sure, let's leave it like this. Now my crew is trying to identify the contacts. We already have a pretty good idea of Sierra 1. Sierra 2, Sierra 3, the contacts are shaping up. should have them very soon identified. In fact, Sierra 1, we know the exact position of the contact. Trawler, a freighter, and what is Sierra 3? Another trawler. Okay. This is bad. This is bad. There is, most likely, an enemy submarine in the area. And I have no clue where it is. Now, to be honest, I'm not looking for a fight here. If I can get out of this without having to fight, I'll take the chance. So for now, I will just start using some time compression. Go this way, see what happens. And if nothing happens, okay. We continue our mission. So, I'll make a cut here and I'll come back to you once something develops. See you soon. Welcome back. And there we go. We can leave the combat area. We did not encounter any enemy submarines. So, let's just do that. There was a dolphin in the area. Okay. The dolphin... It's a very quiet submarine, I think. So, I'm not surprised that we didn't detect it, and it apparently didn't want to engage us either, so... We both go our ways. However, I still have to catch the convoy. Continue the mission. Yes, I know. Oh, there's a second submarine coming. Second submarine force coming. Can I evade? Yes, I can. Let's hunt down the convoy, that will be a close one. Something is happening. Heavy battles, Pskov in the Soviet Union. 
NATO troops are gaining ground in this area surrounding the city of Pskov in the Soviet Union since the Eastern Front continues to be pushed back. Reports of witnesses about the use of phosphorus munitions in populated areas of Pskov caused an international outcry when several heads of state around the world demanded an immediate ban on their use. The military claims that they do not have these types of ammunition. At the moment no decisive initiative can be carried out by any of the parties. Control of the Atlantic is still another competition between the fleets. Damn it! Pskov, where's Pskov? There. So they have recaptured that. I need to complete more missions apparently and the enemy fleet has reached one time. Did we catch up to it? I think we did. We are in the vicinity of the Norwegian coast. It's in the middle of the night. There's a very weak surface duct and a very weak thermal layer, so not great. And we are coming in at a speed of 20 knots, which is a lot. All hands, man battle stations. Okay. Slow right down. We might have indeed been detected. And since we were going so fast, and yeah, now we will get a lot of contacts. And our sensors were um, disrupted by that. We will be quite close to the enemies. Uh, Seafloor, we have a lot of room to play with, that's great. So let's come up to periscope depth and maybe take a look around. See how screwed we really are. While my crew is trying to figure out the positions of the contacts. Now... Ambient noise, 76 decibels only. That is very quiet, actually. So not a lot of background noise. Which means... We have to be careful here. Okay, we have already a Charles of Adams and a Garcia in the area. New Sierra 6 has been. Okay. Another Charles of Adams. And this one is at a range of 9.1 kilometers. Turn around. Here we have a cargo ship. That's a target. So two more unidentified contacts for now. And I'm just really interested in the cargo ships. I want to sink those. Cargo ships, tankers, anything that can carry supplies has to sink. Let's see though. Military transport? Yes. Give me information on that. 12,700 tons. That's nice. What is Sierra 6? Another US cargo. Will there be another transport back here? Let's raise the SM mass for a moment. Strong radar returns. We might be able to sneak in a very quick look through our periscope. Let's try to do that. Uh, the enemy ships bearing one. Somebody's pinging. Why did they start to ping? Can the Charles of Adams actually hear me? If it goes active, it can. This one can't. 14 knots, 10 knots, 10 knots. So this Charles of Adams is increasing speed. 
and sweeping out to the flank. I'm not sure if they detected me. They shouldn't be able to detect me just... Raising the SM mask shouldn't give them away my position that quickly. So let's pop up the periscope. Bearing one. Okay, that was the wrong key. Damn, they are close. Okay, cargo, military transport, cargo, military transport. So we have four targets in the area. Good to know. Yeah, I thought so. There is a fourth ship. This Charles of Adams can't hear me as long as it doesn't go active. We will still dive deeper below the thermal layer. We don't have to make it easy for them, right? So let's just go down. Uh, transports, they are at a range where I can engage with missiles. One, two, three, four, five missiles is all it takes. Five targets. Are they armed? The US cargo? No. The military transport? No. They are not armed. No anti-missile weaponry, which is very bad for them. The Charles F. Adams is basically the only thing that can protect them. Okay, we are now below the thermal layer. We are making it very difficult for the enemies to hear us. Now I could open up with torpedoes, absolutely. But I feel that in this situation I might be better served by just using my missiles. Five missiles out, everybody dead. Right? Well, maybe. This Charles of Adams could actually intercept a missile. And I think it has started to ping. Let's observe. Yeah, it is pinging. In that case, come up. This Charles of Adams will know where I am. And I don't want to... Let it come into range to use the depth charges. Not at all. The transports are starting to turn, so that's a sure sign that I've been detected. Let's just fire off my missiles and get out. Prepare to fire. Okay, keep this depth. Should I fire at the Charles of Adams though? Seven kilometers. No, it's already within the range of my missiles. So we'll just go like this. Okay, that's enough. Let's go. Let's go deep. And let's hope that we get them all, that the Charles of Adams can't intercept my missiles, because it certainly is trying to do that. It might have intercepted a missile. We'll see. I mean, if I'm really unlucky, it has intercepted all of them. Uh oh. Really? No. Oh, god damn it. 
I think it has indeed intercepted all of the missiles. Okay, emergency plan. Emergency plan, right now. Load waycoming torpedoes and be fast about it. I can't believe this. It actually intercepted all of the missiles, all five of them. That's... that's unheard of. This thing wouldn't have been able to intercept five missiles if I had aimed it at its... That it, oh my god. Well, I was a bit optimistic. Slow down. Slow right down. Charles F. Adams is closing the distance. However, I have a feeling it will turn away very soon. Okay. Fire the way coming torpedoes. Alright, and that should absolutely make this Charles of Adams turn away. Having torpedoes come at you, that's not an experience that anybody likes. In the meantime, we are going deep. Yeah, the Charles of Adams is actually turning away. He doesn't want to tangle with this. He doesn't know if these torpedoes are aimed at him or not. So, better to be careful, right? He's even dropping noisemakers. Now my goal is to get over here maybe and then fire off the missiles at the remaining targets. The missiles that I still have. I have three more missiles. Um, two of these torpedoes have to hit something. If this is supposed to work here. Damn it. That was unlucky. But yeah. The Charles F. Adams was alert and they have a good crew on board. So what can you do? And yeah, in the end it is my fault. I should maybe not have fired the missiles. So that they have to pass next to the Charles F. Adams. I didn't realize they would be passing this close to it. And now it is what it is. I could actually... Yeah, let's do that. Let's come up and fire one more Wacoming torpedo. After this car transport here. I'm expending a lot of ammunition on this task, but I can't change that now. I just have to roll with it. Slow down. This transport here... Oh no. Okay, I can't fire a 
torpedo at this transport because it would actually outrun the torpedo. So there's no sense in shooting that. This is tricky. I might be in a lot of trouble here actually. Let's turn north. Let's go a bit deeper. And we will increase our speed. Charles F. Adams is turning around as well. Since it's not under direct threat from the torpedoes anymore. That's all right. And we'll try to catch up to the enemy ships. Now I'm not sure if they will be able to outrun the torpedoes. They might. In that case, I really screwed up this attack. Yeah, the Charles of Adams is closing the distance again. I have to try and close the distance now. But this is a dangerous game. I'm passing quite close. There we go. One transport sinking. That's great. That's really great. So we got at least one. Oh boy. So far so good. Okay, we can work with this, right? I think we can. However, I do not like this Charles of Adams getting this close to me. So let's turn away a little bit. Do I still have more torpedoes in the water? I absolutely do. Oh, there's the sinking ship. And I don't know if this torpedo will pick up anything. My guess is it was after this ship and then... The ship was sunk. And now it's just looking for something. But yeah, there is... Ah, okay. It decided to detonate. Harmlessly. Also, this one isn't finding anything either. So the torpedo salvo has cost the enemy only one ship. It's not that great, to be honest. Okay, I have four missiles left. Military transport, speed of 18 knots, 18 knots and 18 knots, 17 knots, okay. The US cargo, at what speed is it going? I can't tell. This Charles F. Adams is closing in at 15 knots. Which I do not like. Also this Garcia has turned around and is coming for me. Hmm. Should I come up and fire missiles at the farthest transports? I could take out all three military transports. Then I would have only one US cargo remaining. US cargo, what is your top speed? Can I check that? US cargo... 18 knots. Yeah, okay, I think it's 18 knots. US cargo mod MS, 22 knots, okay. I don't think it's a modified US cargo. Hmm, that looks about right. Or 
does it. Oh well. I think it's this one, but it doesn't quite fit the cutout here. You know what? Let's just roll with it. How far away is the Charles F. Adams? 5.8 kilometers. That's fine. But we have the Garcia closing in from the flank. Should I pop up fire missiles? Yes or no? I think I should. I think I should. Even if things go south, I will still have sunk three military transports. Let's just do it. Come up. Even if I then have to completely break contact and evade, I will still have sunk the majority of the enemy fleet. Which will be enough to grant me a mission accomplished, I hope. Okay, I'm cavitating a lot here, but it doesn't really matter. They know where I am. It's now only about coming up quick. Hold the step. You guys are about to receive. Oh, I have to slow down. Come on, slow down a little bit more. There we go. And there we go, the last one. Those were all my missiles. Let's go deep again. Let's go deep again. Come on. The Charles of Adams has closed in a little bit. But we will now go this way. Ah, and there we go. Depth charges. Rocket propelled depth charges. The Charles F. Adams is starting to fire. First hit, second hit. Third hit. More rocket propelled depth charges are being dropped by the Charles F. Adams. It's fine, they are not that close to us. So what is the Garcia armed with? It has torpedoes. So that's fine. I don't mind that at all. Okay, let's use some time compression. The Charles F. Adams is continuing its barrage. Might have a look at it. Yeah, there you go. Rocket propelled depth charges. Let's watch. It's interesting to see that from time to time. They are fired from these launchers here. Come on, do something. The range is closed to five kilometers. And what I'm doing here is dangerous. 
I will try to go through the fleet of um, Rex here and sink the US cargo on the way. And I'm hoping that at going 26 knots I can basically outrun the Charles of Adams. I won't be able to outrun the Garcia though. So this remains a risky thing. However, I really only need to close the distance to the US cargo enough that I can use the torpedoes. And now you are not doing anything anymore, huh? Do we have to reload, maybe? That might be it. Let's use a little bit of time compression. See what happens. It's a nice ship, isn't it? Yeah, okay. I have to take care of my submarine now because the Garcia is indeed closing in rapidly. It's at 2.9 kilometers already. Charles F. Adams has closed to 4.9. This Garcia. I need to get rid of it. Let's do this. Let's come up. Let's start to turn. There could also be torpedoes in the water dropped by the Garcia. So we have to be mindful of that. Shoot a torpedo right now. Oh, 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 no, I don't want to broach the surface. Oh, damn it. I was not careful for a moment here. Let's go down again. Let's turn away. And let's go. Torpedo has activated. Will it acquire the Garcia? Yes, no, maybe. In any case, the Garcia is turning away. I can start reloading some more serious torpedoes here. Okay, I think the torpedo has activated and it has actually acquired the Garcia. So that's went, that went well. That will also force the Charles of Adams to turn away. And I can use the time to go straight for the US cargo. The torpedo is closing in on the Garcia. He has dropped the countermeasure. However, yeah, the torpedo is close enough that it has immediately reacquired the target. And the Garcia is just not fast enough to outrun this. So here we go. One Garcia down. That went well. Now I have to hunt down this cargo ship. So let's do just that. I think the Charles of Adams won't be able to keep up. I should be fast enough. I think so. So it's only a matter of time until we are close enough to fire a torpedo and blow the cargo ship apart. Oh, hey, there's a wreck on the seafloor. 
can see it there. That's great. We are passing by the ships that we have sunk. Anybody else? No? Alright. Now, what I do not like is to have the Garcia in my baffles like this. And to be honest, it does sound like it's coming closer, so... Let's do a maneuver that is called... Checking our baffles. We are turning sharp. Oh, damn it. Is it really that close? Don't tell me it's that close. Go active. It absolutely is this close. Let's get behind it. Up on the planes. Let's get into a position to fire this torpedo. Torpedo will fire in with a circle search pattern programmed in. Come on, where is it? It's behind me. It is behind me. There it is. Do I have a precise position? Yes, I do. And he is circling. Uh, then let's just go ahead and fire a torpedo like so. Torpedo is out of the tube. Reload. Go deeper. Stop cavitating if possible. Stop the active sonar. This is looking good. I think we can manage that. Torpedo should activate in a moment. Come on, Torpedo. Don't tell me I missed it. No, I didn't. That's looking good. That's looking good. It will immediately acquire the target. The countermeasure is behind it. There's another countermeasure dropped. However, that's too little too late. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. That will be... One enemy less. Oh yeah, it's coming. Oh yes, it's coming. Oh yes. Nice it. Okay. And back to our original target. There's still one more Charles of Adams in the area, but it buggered off. And that's a good thing. Oh boy, now this mission has caused me to expend a lot of weapons. But only one more torpedo and uh, we will have sunk all the targets. Which will without a doubt help our war effort. Ah, uh, there it is, sinking. You were a troublesome little bastard. I'm glad that I sunk you. Okay, here we go. Let's take a screenshot. That's nice. That's really nice. 
All right. Now we only have to hunt down the last remaining target. Let's use some time compression to speed things up. There it is. Nine point six, nine point five. This is looking good. Okay, what weapons do we have remaining? Uh, we have five Wacoming torpedoes. We have five of the SCT-65 torpedoes. I don't think a four hundred millimeter torpedo would be enough to sink the cargo. I'll fire a regular torpedo at it. Yeah. 8.3, 8.2. I think I'll fire once I reach a distance of 6 kilometers. That should be absolutely fine. Although we could be... We could just do it the really safe way and wait until we are absolutely within range. With a guaranteed hit. Yeah, we could do that. And we are catching up quite fast. If we were to fire now... Yeah, okay. The torpedo has a range of about 15 kilometers. So I might indeed want to... Wait just a little bit longer before I fire. I could also really do a point blank shoot up the tailpipe, so to speak. Let's in fact do that. Now we are following directly in the ship's wake. There we can actually start to see the ship's wake. I don't know if you'll be able to see this on YouTube. If you look closely, yeah, there is the wake of the ship. That's like like a landing strip for our torpedo. 2.7 kilometers. So of course we do not want to get too close to the explosion. I think this is actually enough. Let's just go ahead and maybe... Adjust this a little bit. And we'll fire just like... So... Torpedo is out. And is going after the ship. Meanwhile, we reload the number one. We won't need it right now, but... Maybe later. And there goes the torpedo. It is... what? What? I... What? How... Oh, damn you. The programming wasn't in a circle, right? Pretty sure I didn't program it to run in a circle. Hmm. Alright, can't be hurt now. Fire another one. There it goes. Look how fast my submarine is going. Ah, uh, the torpedo is barely outrunning me. And 
now it's going up and it will acquire the target now what the hell is wrong with my torpedoes right now Jesus Christ okay you know what in that case we might as well we might as well try to use the 400 millimeter torpedo I guess Let's, let's first see what this torpedo will do. I have no idea what just happened. That's a very weird bug that just cost me two torpedoes. And I do not appreciate this at all. This has been... Not good. Not good at all. Okay, 400 millimeter, straight running, searching for surface targets, and go! Activation, acquired, it's going after the target. I don't know what happened here, that, uh, I don't know. That was a real waste of torpedoes. And I don't think I did anything wrong. If I did, tell me in the comments. I'll have to review the footage maybe. Yeah, just as I thought. One 400mm torpedo is not enough to actually sink the target. It's enough to slow it down though. But I will have to finish it off with one more. Torpedo. Let's use some time compression. And there's the last torpedo that we need. And it's now leaving the tube. Going after the already crippled cargo. And it has acquired, I believe. I don't know if I can go for another mission with the weapons that I have remaining. Damn it. I have very little weapons remaining now, especially if I have to go against submarines. Yeah, that was actually enough. Let's keep going. Oh, this is a nice picture. Maybe. It's nice to have some screenshot opportunities. Alright, let's see if we can leave the area. No, there's still weapons nearby. Which would actually be my own torpedoes. Doesn't matter. We will soon be out of here. Are the torpedoes detonating? Come on, run out of steam already. There we go. 
that should be enough. Yes, we can leave the combat area now. So, one Charles of Adams escaped, however we have sunk another one, also a Garcia, two US cargos and three military transports. So, that should be a task complete. Congratulations on a job well done. The loss of these supplies will greatly harm the enemy. Stand by for new orders on this downlink. The ships turned and fled. As spokesman for the Soviet Navy, today revealed that enemy supply convoys were successfully repelled by the naval blockade around Trondheim, Trondheim, Norway. A large convoy of enemy ships was aggressively engaged. Numerous ships were sunk and vessels that were still afloat quickly turned around and left. The success of the recent Soviet Navy continu no, the recent success of the Soviet Navy continues to have a significant and lasting impact on ground warfare. Initial suggestions that the role of the Navy in this conflict would be limited at best proved incorrect. Yes, I do hope that we have an impact on the ground warfare, because it's not going that great. And we are tasked with returning to Murmansk because we expanded almost our whole arsenal in this mission. So let's do that. Oh, enemy submarine near the coast. I do not want to meet that. So we'll take a little detour here. Yes, we evaded it successfully. And now the way should be open for us all the way to Murmansk. Oh, they're actually pursuing us. Or not, they stopped, okay. 133 days at war. Soon after you went ashore, you are summoned to the office of the Admiral, where he congratulates you on your successful patrol. When will you guys make me Admiral, by the way? <laughs> I feel like I might have deserved it. So, our new mission. Intelligence shows that the enemy wants to strengthen their invasion force in British Southwest. British Southwest, okay. The ships of the convoy of supplies are sent from Key West. Our task is to intercept and destroy this convoy before it unloads additional forces and or materials. The naval command is counting on you. No other ships or planes can intercept the enemy in time. Let's continue. And let's rearm the boat. Now I need two of these. One is loaded into the tube. I need one of those. It will go into this tube. Um, how many waycoming torpedoes did I fire actually? I have five on board right now. And I think I fired four? No, I think I fired three. One, two, three. That allows me to have six SCT-65 torpedoes and eight wakehoming torpedoes, which is fine since I am engaging an enemy fleet. Also, more missiles. That's all right. We are done and we can leave port after 18 hours. Cast off. And here we already see our target. Now... I'm not too confident that we can accomplish this mission, for a very simple reason. The enemies are here, and they will most likely be going to Plymouth. And for them to get here doesn't take that long, but for me to get from Murmansk, through all of this, and down here, by the time I get here, they might have unloaded already. And that might be bad, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe, maybe we'll be successful. And we'll see if that works in the next episode. Until then, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great week ahead of you. And if you are enjoying this series, consider leaving a subscription so that you make sure that you do not miss out on anything that I upload. Until next time. Goodbye.